I think. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Not Skull Girls Europe. Why is that recommended to me? <clears throat> I don't know what Admiral Baru is. Why am I followed to them? <clears throat> I don't know what SMBM Lila is. Wait, no, that's your people, isn't it? it is, yeah. I think you followed some people on my account. Oh, really? Yes, because okay. I didn't. Because Do sometimes you're logged in as me and I don't understand why. I, th I think it happened. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, get okay, great. I'll pull it up. And when the eyes be nice. Okay. Oh, bum, bum. Yeah, we so live? cry. We are oh, live right now, oh. currently. <laughs> Oh man. Eating the screen. That's what I'm doing. Is this the audio test? This is currently the audio test and uh, shortly Can you the video us? test. Can you hear us both? Me and the waifu. Oh shoot, it's me. My lovely wife. Uh, I'm death. sorry that my commentary will be less useful so I won't be very talkative. Unless I'm cracking jokes. Everything's fine. Okay. So As I need to join you. Echoey from my end or echoey from my love's end? On both. Yes. Yeah, my, my, my love's got a desk. He also has a headset too. Okay, is that better? Is that? Hello, hello. And my echoey still. Hopefully not. Definitely better plus one. Excellent. Fantastic. I was hoping for plus five, but I'll go with plus one. No, I got a thumbs up emoji. I see it right here. <laughs> Which Twitch TV emotes better TTV or? Are you saying that I have a bad mode? <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Oh god, it's my face. Your face is, is there. My face? Love your doxing yourself. <laughs> it's your face, Kasim. My face. <laughs> Crap. Face in your name and your face. That's right, it's my real name now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's bad when you change your actual name to your gamer name. <laughs> Oop. Okay, so welcome everybody. It's currently the audio slash video test. Let me know Is what this when I, I sound like. Pretend I can play. No, we don't need to do no. that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to do that. Yeah, we can't <laughs> You know how everybody sounds like. If anyone else shows up the commentary, I promise I will leave. <clears throat> totally understandable. Let me know what I sound like, how my wife sounds in relation to the game, and how the video looks. Really not too bad. Greetings, happy Saturday. It's ice storming over here. Yes. Performing a driving test while it's freezing and raining is terrifying. Don't do that. You did a good job. Congratulations. <laughs> you are now an official driver. I am officially driven. <laughs> Man. It was hard to tell if I was doing anything slow. <laughs> you were... I mean, from where they made me stand to watch you, you looked really slow. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that might have been good considering the cones they had me stand by were getting encrusted with ice as I watched. Oh, all right then. Okay. <laughs> That's not great. No. Wasn't sure you, uh, the dude walked up and was like, congratulations, uh, you can go uh, driving over there and park away. Is that your wife over there? Do you need to pick her up? I'm like, yes. <laughs> what? Why is she outside? <laughs> Do we need to forgive you for being late? Are you late? <laughs> How dare you be late to get great? People for being late. We could all use more of that. What? 
I mean, we, I, I, I suppose I could forgive Doc for being late, but um, he must learn his lesson and sign up and die. All right, what we've got planned for this stream today is to look at a bunch of people who would like to learn how to get better at Skullgirls. Oh, very accurate. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, someone's asking to take a spot in the intermediate breakfast drive chat. Sure, dude, I'll put your name in the thing. We have a lot of intermediate players here today. So many intermediate players, holy heck. Drive chat. Hello, what's up? Welcome to Get Great. We're getting great. If y'all haven't noticed, my wife's the best. Unironically. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically. Would you tell them if it was really ironically? <laughs> I'm not sure you'd tell them. <laughs> that frog is really adorable. It's an adorable frog. What is that? God is Froggers? That's amazing. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, my suggestion, pick the best ones. <laughs> in the, the beginning, in the beginning, I was a fan of Eliza and Bella because my name used to be Elizabeth Jingles. And so Eliza Bella was like a play on my name. Uh, now I'm playing with the idea of Eliza Squiggly Pain Wheel. Um, though I've been told that order is very bad. Very, it's a very interesting order. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. I, I, you know, for characters, you should like pick somebody you like and then figure out what works best with them and maybe yeah. not do what I do and try to make everything uh, connected to weird things. Although I, I like playing Eliza. It's, it's my also favorite. probably viable, you know. <laughs> End the game since 2013. That's fair. A lot of people usually have been Skull fans, and then not not the bad Skull fans, actually the good Skull fans. Um, but they've actually you know just been watching the game or playing it intermittently, and then actually want to try it out, and that's really cool. I think I've been mashing buttons since 1988, uh, and at some like point I need to start learning some combos. Mashing buttons since. Street Fighter 2 come out? That's what I was trying to think of. Like, Street Fighter 2 for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, is what yes. I remember my first fighting game being. And ben. whenever that was, whenever my family could afford it, that's when I learned to mash buttons as Chun-Li and Blanco. We played the same characters. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You've was... never la mashed a single button? That's very false, in fact. Small mashes all the buttons. <laughs> I I just panic, and then my hands move. So, so far, that, that works, works better for me in games like Soul Calibur that are 3D, um, mm -hmm. and less less good with things like Skullgirls. Yeah, it, it's not exactly transferable to um, Skullgirls because it's a it's a trade secret. <laughs> Listen, everybody knows. <laughs> I didn't know there was a thing called frame data until I watched JP labbing things. And I was like, but there's boxes of colors. And all the colors that looks everything. complicated. <laughs> yeah. All the colors mean everything. Mean certain moves. It looks like a lot of math and geometry. Yes. Uh -huh. It is a lot of math and geometry. Yeah, you see, I teach Latin and classical history and creative writing, which are not so, so much math and geometry. I mean, you mean don't, you don't get to calculate room acoustics every now and again? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what I have to do. <laughs> yes, this is why I'm glad that there are people like you <laughs> to do those things that I don't have to. <laughs> like, I'm glad there are people out there that like pink. And red, so that I don't have to. <laughs> this is true. I'm here for the color commentary. I will be commentarying on colors while JP does all the actual advice. That's fine. Latin is indeed still used. I teach Latin to 5th through 7th graders. Um, Latin is useful for if you want to go into medicine so that you know what all the bones are. 
Um, it's also useful for things like SATs, so you can understand the etymology of words. Um, and it can help you understand science better, because science takes a lot of their terms from Latin. Yeah. And if you want to sound like, you're casting spells all the time. That's true. That's pretty good. Can you tell us all the true best colors in this game? Because I'm still trying to find a Fuqua color. Uh, oh, the Fu best, best Fuqua color. color is the green one. It's the Pertifolus. Green one's pretty good. I think that's what it's a reference to Mortal Kombat. Uh, what's her name? I know. I forgot. It's been acid. Yeah, the MK one. That one or the Ember one. Reptile. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's also. Yeah, the best colors are green, purple, and blue. Um, blue all other colors are not as good. <laughs> there's an Iron Man reference one. Colonel's suit is called Iron Man. Yes, Colonel's suit. I forgot. Yeah, they have <laughs> names. They all have names. They're all wow. references to something. Yeah. Cool. Shadow one's pretty all right. Can confirm. Falco Fook was also pretty good. I like the the skins that Squiggly and Pain will have that like are the purple and green, but Eliza doesn't quite have a skin that matches. Yeah, the, so I've been trying to decide what to use with it. Because I think I'm pretty sold on that for Squiggly and Pain Wheel. That makes sense. The Zone Tan ones are also pretty good. Um. <laughs> I'm kind of put off by the Squiggly's Invisible Head one. It's kind of weird. It's supposed to be Earthworm Jim. Okay. I don't know what an Earthworm Jim is, but... It was a game on the Super Nintendo platform issue. Oh, I played cooler games. Like Legend of Mana. Legend of Mana was not on the Super Nintendo. Legend of Mana was on the PlayStation 1. Illusion of Mana. I'm giving you <laughs> side eye right now. Legend of a, Mana is an awesome game, though. Yes, it was, there was a, there was a, a Mana game on Super Nintendo. Uh, it was called. No, that's that's pink. So so pink is wrong. <laughs> I mean, Clark if it's Turkey. referenced in Naruto, wouldn't it be Sakura? Yes. Sakura? I think so. Fukua? Fukura? <laughs> no, pink is good for you, but then I'll have to root for you to fail. A fake Naruto character? I don't know about that. Oh, then. Pretend Naruto. Pretend Naruto. <laughs> Not pretend Naruto. Fake Ruto. Fakera? Megara? Megara? Megara comes from... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Megara gets horribly, brutally murdered by Hercules. Yes. <laughs> except for in the Disney show, where yeah. they do everything wrong yeah, they and do. make them seem, seem like, like an epic love story, when really, Hercules marries Megara, then murders her and their children, yeah. and then yeah. does the labors of Hercules to try to redeem himself. Because Hera made him crazy, because she was mad. He because, was born. Yeah. <laughs> Good old history lesson. Everyone loves a you know, I, nice I, I, bite of Greek I also, mythology. I also just don't like how Disney kind of prettifies everything like that. Uh, let's not get misogynistic here. Indeed. What? <laughs> okay, you're saying it proves that women are crazy. Okay, so this dude yes. is constantly cheating on his wife. And you'd think that she has no reason to be a little mad about it, especially since she is the goddess of marriage and faithfulness. I think that particular wife might have some issues yeah. with, with being cheated on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Greek tragedy, yes. Oedipus Rex and uh, was that uh, is that uh, Antigone? Is Antigone, it? yeah. The it's, it's from, from the now. cycle that all is based on the Furies, and it goes with gotcha. Clytemnestra yes. and Electra. Um, you know, they they are they are very tragic. You don't get quite more tragic than Oedipus Rex. That's yeah, that's weird. <laughs> oh no! 
<laughs> oh no. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Appreciate y'all. I mean, right. You see, but if you're gonna have Zeus get around, then he needs to be in an open relationship where everything is consensual. That's the only thing we're wanting to change here. Unfortunately, he decided to marry the goddess of marriage and faithfulness. This was a poor choice for him. Or a poor choice for her. And on which way is it? Which way is it? <laughs> it is very hard to point to any god from almost any mythology that isn't married to their sister. <laughs> that is the, yeah. the, the common, common that's a thing. thing yeah. With, with Gods. <laughs> Are we talking about Greek mythology? Uh, <laughs> because no one signed up to commentate JP and I teach ancient history uh, to fifth, fifth graders. Yes. That's, That's why. why. I also just find it interesting. Um, and, and we have seven more minutes lines. until things are real. Yeah. I apologize. I will shut up when games actually start. Everything's fine. Listen, you're on color commentary, so you will have to shut up. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Georgia references. No, that's banned. No. Nope. But banned. that's because JP and I haven't watched JoJo, so we yeah. don't get the JoJo references. I I know like one or two references, but only because it's the internet. <laughs> it's cool to listen to Greek, but yes, it is cool actually. It's it's the favorite. And we just finished. Egypt in my class that I teach. We've done Mesopotamia so far. Then we just finished with the Egypt mythology and history, and now we start Greek this next week, so it's firmly in my brain. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Can we see the Pompeii documentary at last? Pompeii <laughs> is wrong. Pompeii is wrong. How many times to tell you? Look, Pompeii is, is wrong. I'm just excited for it. I like I know, seeing the documentary. But as soon as you get so upset <laughs> when I show them all the charred bones, it's, it's amusing. Heck, dude. Band is the most <laughs> annoying to play against. He makes me the most sad. At least, computer big band. I, I feel that. That's okay. It's a viable take. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm sorry. There's a minor echo on me, so you're going to have to leave the room. There's a what? There's a minor echo on me. Minor so I need to be quieter so that your mic stops picking me up. I suppose. <laughs> Fifth grade was more than 10 years ago for me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fifth grade was also more than 10 years for me. <laughs> See, I like the Roman better. Um, but most of my students prefer Greek, but that might be because I also have a degree in Latin, so it makes me, you know, a little more friendlier with the Latin side. That is fair. I can't stand Zoomers. I totally understand. Ah, it only sounds weird because you're spelling it wrong. So, uh, the Roman is Heracles, which is actually H-E-R-K, no, A-K-L-E-S, you know, because that That's makes crazy. it different. Oh man, it was a K. E. Yeah, Heracles. It. Yeah, when it's in Roman. Which is weird though, because in Roman they call her Juno. They don't call her Hera. Oh, uh, okay. But it's Hercules versus Heracles. Okay, that makes sense. Also true. There's four minutes left. Four minutes. We'll left. start in four minutes. This is just the audio slash video test. Let me know what I sound like in relation to my wife in relation to the game. If someone needs to be louder and or quieter. Please let us know. It'll be grand. Am I? Am I? Um, am I responding to just my wife today? <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm husband to you. All right, husband. <laughs> okay, you don't. You don't need the name either. Okay, so uh, Pegasus was born from the stump of Medusa's neck after she was murdered. Is that a thing? Oh man. Yes. <laughs> That's a thing. Oh my God. <laughs> 
So, like, Disney's Hercules is all effing wrong. Just so you know. Again. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, have you not heard my lesson on Pegasus and Bellerophon yet? No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Not the ancient creation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should laugh more in Echo. It scares the populace. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> two minutes to go. Laz the dude, I promise you, the two more minutes will pass. Yes, I know Maximilian Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. She used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh when I was 12. <laughs> 13, something like that, when it first came out. Oh, and just so you know, it's not one Pegasus that was born from Medusa's neck. There were two. So there's Pegasus and Chrysaur. <laughs> that were both born from the Jesus <laughs> You know, because I know you want to be as accurate as possible. Yes, there's multiple. <laughs> That's a big so Well, you know, so many snakes. So many snakes. So many snakes. Yeah. I, I definitely have a lot of obsessed students, which puts me, you know, on my toes because then I have to know everything and remember everything at all times. Yeah. Where does Sailor Cheapy Moon come into this? Well, the, you know, the most important thing to remember about Sailor Moon is that Sailor Saturn is the best. <laughs> oh, man. She is a great teacher. Can confirm. <laughs> ah. All right, everybody. It is time for Skulls Get Great. It's 4 p.m. Welcome to Skulls Get Great, where we match you up with opponents of equal skill and give you some advice, tips, and tricks on how to play the game and how to advance further up into those ranks. My name is JP. My lovely wife, Sparrow, is on commentary with me. Hi. Um, he's a musical. Uh, she's gonna be doing color commentary. Cause well, why not? Cause no one else agreed <laughs> to play with him today. It sounds like a loudspeaker. <laughs> it does. You sound weird. Do I sound weird? Uh, yeah. Oh man. You're barely coming through. You sound like you're talking underwater. Talking underwater. Holy heck. Let's go. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Underwater in a speed. That's crazy. Because it's bleeding through yours? My butt and then Let there. me try to mute me and then see if you're human. <laughs> how does how does this sound? Let's see, my wife would mute so herself. Much Is it oh man, it's it's cause I'm bleeding through <laughs> through to my wife's mic. Oh man. Bad, I'm bleeding to my spare's white. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well it's time for get great. So let's let's start the thing. <laughs> Loudspeaker JP. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'm, I can hear me from. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, let's, let's... I should just sit next to you instead of being at my computer. Sure. Okay. I'll come sit. Okay, okay. Let's let's start with the matchups while we get situated and stuff. So we currently have Lin Gang versus Turktos up first. Uh, Lin Gang. You are participating in today's event. Please make sure you're in the Discord. Exclamation mark D I S C O R D. Oh, but then I can't help the Discord if I'm over here. Yeah. That's or okay. read the chat. That's okay. Not okay. It's not good enough. It's fine. Uh make sure you're in there and in the get great chat. Let me get the lobby link right here right here oh next to you and it's valentine's day tomorrow yeah. does that mean we'll get a lot of valentines today oh i, I 
I started a plan like days oh. ago. I'm doing oh, well, a thing. Don't tell me the plan. That, well, we're I mean, talking about get great right I'm now. Just, hey, listen, you we're mentioned Valentine's Day. <laughs> I was making a joke for the stream. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Let's go. We got games to so, play. Yeah, we got Turk Toss. Lin Gang, if you're here, please join that lobby. Get this heck hey, going. Hey, can I list again? This list right here, yeah. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this list. That's what you okay. need. <laughs> sure. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Where you at, Lin Gang? Where you at? You're in the thing at Lin Gang. <gasps> they may not be currently available. Okay. Since I have Lin in my name, does that mean I have to play? You could play against Turktos. They're a newer player. I will do it. Yeah, it'll turn into an open lobby in about like two, two, three minutes. Let's see the show up or not. Uh, let me also check the Steam chat because you know I'm currently gonna go gonna phase out the Steam. That's not a uh, yeah. That's that's a dunce. <laughs> Wrong link. <laughs> ah. My dude, come on. Dunce got lost. Yelling gang, they're here. All right. Okay, there we go. Thanks for saving me. Let's <laughs> see how they play today. I don't quite volunteer as tribute. Well, you shouldn't. Certainly shouldn't have to volunteer as tribute. You saw nothing. I see everything. I know where your mix is. Both icons really like They're the spherical cool. and the hair. Oh, it's Peacock. Oh, man, Peacock oh. Bella. Oh, it's a big bear. Okay, okay. The peacock color is on point. Very nice blue. Ilya looking kind of classic. Okay, 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 okay. That working through it. glorious. That nice. is one of the prettier peacocks. Turtos certainly got a good moment to, to be able to get into the past the zoning nonsense. Uh, one thing for, for certain though, uh, whenever you've got the point character and the assist character in a combo, snap ASAP. You, you want to be able to kill that character as fast as you can. Not necessarily have to uh, have to wait for the uh, the character's red health to heal back up. Because uh, shouldn't have to sacrifice that. Nice low. Careful about their drops. I think Turk Toss probably has a B and B going on right now. That was a good mix. Ooh. Good incoming. A little bit patient. Oh, raw tag. Oh, okay. There's a ba uh, band colors. I like that band color personally. That's just me though. The yellow's a little loud. That's fair. Although it does, you know, classical nature of the instrument. Yeah. Nice block. That's good. That was a bit of a dash block. That's pretty nice. Uh, for those who don't know, if you press two punches, you dash. Uh, and while you're pressing two punch buttons, you dash forward. You could also hold Let's back, go. so you can be blocking while you're dashing. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. I think I think the thing for Lin Gang is learning the uh, what you call it, the zoning pattern for Peacock. That's kind of super important to her kit. Learning that zoning pattern, getting that down, and then following up with B and Bs and. How do you learn a stuff. zoning pattern? How do you learn a zoning pattern? Yeah. Uh, for one thing, there's a lot of video tutorials online that you could look at. Um, the tutorial itself actually doesn't tell you what it is. You kind of have to either ask people who play Peacock or figure it out to the magic of YouTube. Um, I think we have like a video tutorial. There's like a command thing. Said in our Discord about Peacock if somebody wanted to ask them a question. Uh. I don't know. I think Swift Fox Dash is in our server. I'm not sure. Uh, they're a pe good Peacock player. There's Mechafetus, who's also a Peacock player. They could be doing that. Um, who else? I kind of know Peacock, but not enough to be able to warrant like teaching people how to do a combo. But I know the zoning pattern just because. Terrifying, Bella. That is. That is a. That's that's a Blood red Bella. That's a blood red with a lot of white. Oh man. That's like vampire Bella. Nice combo. Uh, we drop it though. 
It's a little bit of hesitation on on the uh, stand light to the crotch medium kick. It's not bad, not bad. I guess we. I I wonder why we snapped out to the Bella. Cause I don't. It didn't seem like it was a problem just yet. I guess we just want a Bella. Ooh, that's Huggies. Oh, man. That's a birthday. Do we know the mid screen? Ah, not yet. So, so one thing, if, if you've killed a character mid-screen, is learning how to kill the character while they're still on screen. And, and there's certain combos that go for that, but that might be like an intermediate thing to go over for later. Interesting using the spires is actually a good idea, especially if the peacock is zoning, because it also it can also eat projectiles. That's a SSJ. We didn't block. That's unfortunate. Oh, we're, we're not blocking. Oof. Yes, another How monitor would make this. On one monitor? I've been doing it on one I monitor know. for years. So I don't know. I haven't yeah, found it. I haven't found it too horrendous. Learn okay. how to manage. It's awful. Yeah, you're wrong. It's not a it great experience. It is not a great. Ex is not a word. <laughs> it's not a great experience. I will say, but I've learned to deal. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be a little later. I don't know how I can teach without two monitors. I mean, it would be easier to have, like, the game. That on the side so that I could have. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Showtime. Hit him with the ADCs. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I think for Lin Gang, we just need to learn the zoning pattern. We need to figure out some more Peacock's buttons. Peacock specials. Um, Peacock specials chained to normals. Uh, yeah, I don't know what do you mean. Like do they chain together like normals? Um, not exactly. Uh, Peacock specials uh, cancel out of normals, much like any other character in this game. But um, you could chain like the the only like quote unquote chainable special is her or bang bang bang, which is her was it. 236 HP, I think that's correct. Um, where she, she tosses out like three projectiles in, uh, in a row once you press the buttons. Bring back the peacock. Interesting. You could chain two Georges, but you need you need another, like, you, you would need to have both Georges out on screen, and you can only really have one George out on screen at a time, unless you have a way around that. Blah, blah, blah. Like an assist for sure, but like, yeah. New skill announcement rolls. Oh, not yet. The the skill announcement rolls have not been added just yet. Uh, I was gonna wait till after today because a lot of things were happening over the, uh, over the past week or so. Yeah. The, they'll be incoming. added today. They'll be incoming. Likely today. Let's go. Welcome. So you guys Thank you for the I bug him every day about putting them yes. in. Yes. <laughs> He's like, are they there yet? I'm like, not yet. This, but I want to is... play with them. Yes. <laughs> I, I need to make sure that the bot is set up correctly before I even try to implement it correctly in the right way. Let's just throw it out, and then we can, like, you know, fix the uh, I mean, that's fix, why... I, fix this doesn't make sense. That's why I made a test server, <laughs> to make sure that There's that's... There's a test that. server? There's a test server, yes. I can't play in the test server? Uh, I mean... Invite could, me to the test server. Yeah, I was going to say, you could invite me to the test server. Yes, you gotta, you certainly have to be careful when the big band is full screen, because they can certainly throw out punches and, and A-trains like that. So the best bet here is to be dash blocking, uh, button dash blocking. Uh, you can also bait out all of these things, uh, because the, the opponent, because any, uh, any of the brasses are not exactly safe on block, except for L-brass at a distance. Baba boosh. Uh, that should be dead. Um, to, to Lin Gang though, uh, tossing up any of those brasses is not exactly a great plan because you can end up getting punished really hard, uh, to an opponent who's a little more aware. Um, so if, if you want to be able to check your opponent, L brass is the way to go because it's, it's a little safer at a distance, uh, and you can do them like twice in a row, uh, to make sure your opponent's respecting you, uh, at a distance. Be pretty good. Not I bad, y'all. Like not being able to see chat. Oh, well, hold on. I'll, I'll unmute it. Yep, yeah, right there. Oh, why aren't 
aren't you doing that already? That doesn't mean I like to see it here. But that's me. But then you only see talked about like five minutes ago. Sorry, I don't mean to be <laughs> annoying, but uh Well then. We have Rudsman where you at? Rudsman versus That's the dude who was certainly in chat earlier. Yep, Lobby link's right there. Just click on that link. It should take you to the Skull Rolls Lobby. From there, from the browser, it shows up. We have our Rudsman. What is that icon? Oh, dear. There's a last dude. That's a mouse? Or is that a... What is that? Kitty. Uh, rat cat the twitch was acting weird weird it's a cat okay okay so whenever you're ready hit that button we can start this up could be a really feral ferret could be it's, a, it's an unknown animal a cat oh okay oh, cat standing in order to keep pizza very specific. It's gonna eat you. It's certainly not me. That was that was. I don't know. Was it pizza three years ago? That one was me and Yo Yo as a team. Yes. Right, because I never had to fight anybody because <laughs> yeah. I was your anchor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's fine. You would have won the whole tournament. I would not have the whole tournament. <laughs> Unless everyone else was really drunk. There's, there's I would a couple, also need to be drunk. There was a couple people like that in the tournament. <laughs> Oof, hopefully you can see the match. I also hope the lobby's not broken. Oh, there it is. Okay. Everything's fine. We're broken. Big oh. Ben. Oh, that's an interesting team. Oh, Bella, no. Bella Payne will Val. Interesting order for that one. What pink? It's it's very pink. I mean, I can support Val because Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Right. Solo ban. Okay. We got blocks. We got blocks. Nice grab. Confirm. Okay, that's kind of a B and B. Yeah, that kind of works. That's not bad, that's bad. You know about run stops? Not bad. Now, while the pink is off, yes. the blue, th that particular blue? Yeah, that's a, that's a nice blue, that's true. Terrifying band, I would not yeah. want to play against Laz the Diva. <laughs> that's Diva from Overwatch? Oh man, I didn't know that actually. I think wow. Overwatch is the only blue I haven't played. It's a, it's a, that one's a shooty, shooty game. Exactly. Yeah. It is the only Blizzard game I haven't played. Pablo. Yeah, I missed Diablo too, actually. Whoa. Okay. I, I don't like pink, but that. Yeah, that's. That pain wheel is fine in a good way. Those, those are kind of, those the skin I was talking about that's slightly translucent. Yeah. Oh, and that's a good, that's a good Val. I like that. I abandoned you for the <laughs> Well, you're not abandoning me, so it's okay. <laughs> I'll come visit every now and then. Sure. Okay. <laughs> that's I a birthday. I pre-order Diablo 4. Oh, let's not do that, actually. Perk Toss. I'm listening yes. to Perk Toss. Yes, definitely don't. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to be sure that, that it's actually good for reviewers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I stopped trusting Blizzard. Uh, That's a good film. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dropping inputs? It's okay. 
I, I understand if, if you're nervous and stuff, you know, it's like the, the feeling like you have to perform and stuff, like, because you're in front of an audience and stuff. That's okay. You'll, that's something you get used to. This is mostly for your benefit than it is for, like, anything else. So. Uh, if anything, the big man's got a combo of sorts, and that's that's not bad. That's a good start, actually, because then you you kind of understand some of what your normals uh, do. Uh, for Rudsman, though, uh, definitely need a, we need to get yourself a a dangle BNB. Um, so, what a good res there's there's a good resource to uh, check out any of the normals or combos that your character has. You go to Twitch chat, type in uh, exclamation mark wiki. And that'll send you to the Mizumi that has a bunch of the most up-to-date combos that there are for this game. Um, otherwise, you could also go to our original resource. If you go do uh, exclamation mark BNB, that sends you to the very, very old Skullheart BNB Compendium. Uh, how new do you have to be to enter these? Is it based on hours played? Uh, it is normally based on hours played. It uh, it doesn't matter what, how many hours you got. You could have like one hour in this game and join up, and that wouldn't matter. We'll try to match you up with people of equal skill and uh, see how we can get you going. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't particularly matter. So you know, you can join up if you want to. If not, also okay. Yeah. Uh, I will say, if you feel like you are intermediate, there, there are gauges like having more than like 150 hours, quote unquote. Uh, and if you can do at least one full, uh, 240 undizzy combo, then you're ready for intermediates. Otherwise, you know, you sign up for beginners and we'll place you when you need to. First line, my match was on here. In two hours in. <laughs> Interesting. That's a bit. Okay. Oh, did the lobby break? It looks it looks as if the lobby broke. Yeah. I'm the coolest. Totally said that. It's okay. Uh, let's see. So if the lobby's broken, yeah, it's, uh, it seems like nobody can join up. So I will make a new lobby, and I'll get you a lobby link. Hold on a second. Lobby. Hopefully this is a thing. Bonk. Oh god, see, so you might have to just kill the game. Yeah, I killed it. Okay. There's that, and I will put this back into the be great. Or not be great, get great. Uh, Discord chat there. So hit up that lobby link and get back into this lobby, hopefully. That'll sort things out. Uh, I'm intermediate. Doesn't feel like it though. Uh, certainly, yeah. There's usually gradients between skill levels. Um, so you could be like upper beginner, lower intermediate, upper advanced, low, uh, like upper intermediate, lower advanced, something like that. It's a weird game stream club. Yeah. Agree. It's yeah. It's true. It's very strange. It links it for me yeah sometimes it links it for for some and it doesn't work for others it's strange the way it works and i think it has to do with some browsers as well i think it has to do with bribery um if it links <coughs> so last sure. dude you're in trouble nice adrian i do not like that bell then you <laughs> i don't like the pink bell that i I, I love that double color oh. all that yellow and pink <laughs> Gotta be careful with those giant steps, though. Uh, sure against is. other other uh, higher level opponents, they'll, they'll know that uh, all giant steps are, in fact, not safe on block. Safe. Not great. Not a great color. Color. I fight you. You fight, fight off over there. Oh. <laughs> 
thing thing on raw tags though uh if, if your character's suddenly bleeding you know they're almost about to die raw tagging is not exactly the best option that you can do um it is better to use a, do a super and then do another super for the character that's incoming and that way if if it's like a safe fish super which double has a safe fish super um you could you could do like uh parasol bikes into uh doubles monster or doubles um cat heads um it is it's better to do that than to do raw tag because if you raw tag uh because the character you're trying to save right you raw tag into the new character that's full health the opponent can easily punish and then the you know the character that you were trying to save you know they're recovering health but the new character is suddenly bleeding really hard so probably not great to do that some plugin uh no i don't have a plugin uh it just kind of works for me i'm on I, it's a chromium thing i think so perhaps on chrome Take the shot. That's definitely a punish. Yes. So you, you gotta be careful. Nice grab tech. <laughs> okay, yeah. So for Rudsman, uh, I would suggest working on a character at a time. So that way you're not confused between what characters do what. Um, so if, like, if you just want to work on Val, do that and get her buttons and her combos down first. And then stack on as you gain more knowledge. It's easier for you to be able to process how a team works in that sense uh, and in that way like you, uh, you you understand how team synergy works that's overhead uh another thing uh for last the dude in case you didn't know uh it if you want to be able to regain any red health that has been, uh, you know, shown up, you know, you've been getting hit a lot. You see a very long bar of red health. If you uh, do quarter circle forward, uh, medium punch, medium kick, you can snap out the the opponent to their another character, and you regain back uh, a set amount of health. And that'd be pretty good. I think 33% for the point, and then 66% for the point and assist, unless that's changed. Uh, but yeah, I think those are the stats for that. Hit him with the snap so you can regain your health, and that'll be great. And like that, we're just on to intermediates. So all of this will be likely a higher level device. Um, and for those who want to stick around for that one, it'll also be cool. Um, also, if there's anything you don't understand that I'm saying, uh, there's exclamation mark TRMS terms. It'll bring up a, a fighting game glossary of terms that are, are somewhat universal. And there's but there's a, a couple of things that are like specific to Skull Girls that are. Or a little more explaining, so do check that out. If there's something you don't you don't understand that I said, hopefully we can get you on the right track. So we got Infernal Baby versus Lumen. I know Lumen's a Fukua. Uh, you should have a lot of say about Lumen's Fukua. Uh, so yeah, I don't remember what Infernal Baby played. No, I watched them play. Um. Last time. So I span this long human to <laughs> That would be cool. That would be cool. Alright. So hit that ready button and let's get you going. What'd you play last week? Cause I actually forgot. I forgot what characters you played. Of a third encore update with any, um, hell yeah! They're, they're what well, they've said that they're gonna their any will be released. And there's also going to be a balance patch that comes along with that, so that's gonna be cool. I just wonder what they're gonna focus on. Okay, fireballs is a great idea to be doing a full screen, pepper your opponent, annoy them to coming into you. Uh, this also is enabled by lock and load, and that's also a great idea. So if, if you want to annoy Let's your go. opponent to come into you, that'd be awesome. You also get some good confirms using um, lock and load like that. Be pretty all right. Uh, if you... Yes. <laughs> Bear says squid with team is attractive. Pink team is awful apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yes. More, more like she doesn't like the colors. Yeah. Okay. Just like the color pink. 
of these teams. Nice kill. Pretty good. You didn't need to spend the bar, though. It's def your 2v3 ratio, so you actually do more damage versus the trio. So you don't necessarily need to spend two bar when you're doing uh, an almost full and dizzy combo. <laughs> you do more damage if you don't use pink. <laughs> nice battle, but... Even if it were 3v3, yeah. It's still a, no, yeah, it's uh, 3v3, not necessarily. The damage scaling is different 3v3 than it is 2v3. Like some things you would do 2v3 actually don't work uh, 3v3, or some things you would do uh, 1v3 would not work if you did it 3v3 or 2v3. It's not exactly the same. It doesn't math out to the exact damage, same damage. Good confirm. All right, not bad. Because in this current situation, 2v3 is talking a 1.0 ratio for the trio and 1.45 for the duo so you're actually doing slightly more damage than you normally would to compensate yeah 3v3 is both 1.3 uh it's it's in, it's in the weird situation that you have uh 1.45 versus 1.0 center stage is a great idea uh, but it works better if you pair it with an SBO, because then you can catch the opponent jumping or pressing buttons. Confirm. Okay. Nice overhead. The cross up. Bottom. <clears throat> Does Robo Beam Assist and Double Bomber Assist serve the same purpose? Not exactly. Robo's Beam Assist hits full screen and is multi hit, uh, up to like five hits. Um, well, double sis is almost like full screen pressuring for three hits. It could also it could also just whiff on certain characters, so it's not as consistent as beam assist. Level three, that's a lot of meter we've expended. I don't exactly agree. Yeah, we're using A-Train. A-Train is not exactly a good threatening tool in the corner. You can make them respect you to not jump, sure, but Fuqua's got options to be able to deal with that nonsense. Like, we could have just as easily just punished the band and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, you can force them to duck. Yeah, that's that's true, yeah. What Dunce said? Yeah. Bom bombers work very differently than to the Beemos. Just picked her to go ban. Any new tip? Any tips for new Eliza? Um, if you want to start playing Eliza, I would say get used to being mostly grounded. Um, because even though she's an air dash character, like all the other, uh, like all the other air dash characters, she's not as fast. Like, almost like Peacock, but um, slightly faster, if anything. Um, and she's a great mix of character on the ground. Um, her, her routes work vastly differently than any character in the game. So it's kind of like trying to get used to having a ground game and an air game, but more of the ground game matters. She's got decent end ears. So I would say try to, try to learn how she works on the ground before you take to the airs. Nice line. <laughs> it goes in bolts. Bolts are important, yes. No problem. We're raw tagging, and now we, we get to punish the Bella for it. Because, you know, Swiggle was bleeding, so now we raw tag out to Bella, and now Bella's dying. So, this you have to spend two more. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Really like to attack assist. It's actually good for you to attack the assist because then they're locked out uh, for a longer period than, the, than they would normally be. It's like nine, eight to nine sec, 
eight seconds normally up to 11 12 seconds which is almost important especially if you're dealing with something problematic also almost a rule of thumb for for y'all um try to stick to characters that you're going to consistently play uh because it's hard it's hard for us here to be able to give consistent commentary um so if you're gonna do fukua stick stick to the fukua if you want to do a team stick the team <laughs> unless you magically begin oh no confirm that would have been immediately dead squiggly so this point i would have used the super because you have four meter uh and spending your bar is almost just as important trying to save your characters than it is anything else. So you could have SBO'd and then raw tag to Big Band, or you could have SBO'd and then SSJ'd. That would both of those options would have worked a little better for you instead of having your characters die so fast. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate you. Keep on going. We got Nilo versus Nandez. So let's get y'all in here. Up to. Ah. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Is there somewhere on the screen that shows the assist cooldown? Yes, there is. At the top of the uh, screen, you see the health bars. Beneath that, you see the green and dizzy bar. And then right in the cor corner near near the character portrait, you see a, a green to red light. Green means that your, your cyst is available, and red means that they're on cooldown. Yes. Well, now you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> at Nilo, if you're here, need at Nilo and at Nandez. At Nilo, great versus at Nandez. Woo! Please get in in this rubby. Uh, and I will also check the get great chat just to be sure. Nilo's here. Cool. <laughs> You can counter command grabs by up backing. You can. Up backing is just pressing up and back. You're jumping backwards, yes. Yes. It also turns red when you can hit. Yes, you can't use it. It also turns red if you're in the air and it's in you're in the middle of a combo. Which you can't call it in the middle of Double combo in the air. Oh. Looking for at Nandez. If you have Nandez on your friends list, please get them in here. Nandez! Friends list. Everyone think the gangster jumping back until Bandicis comes out. Nandis, yes. I've messaged them. Let's see if they respond back. Hopefully they do. Bum, bum, bum. The lobby. Hopefully they know. I'll give them a couple seconds. And then if they don't j hop in at, uh, let's say, oh, they're inter we're in intermediate. Oh, actually, I might just figure out. <laughs> well, true. <laughs> Can you not block lows while air blocking or something? Uh, what do you mean by that? Can you not block lows? No, you you certainly can. You can block lows while air, if you're in the air. Yeah, if you're blocking in the air, I mean, yes, you can block lows. It'll just act like a mid in the air, I guess. Yes, but certainly lows stuff jumps. That's true. In my head, that's true. All right, so. 
Seems like, man, this is, is a no-show, so we'll turn this into an open lobby. If there's an intermediate, uh, preferably of the European variety, would like to get back in here and play some games against Le Nilo, please do so. Here is the lobby link. You can get back in here. First come, first surf. If there is an EU player, get up in here and play Le Nilo. <laughs> There's cake on the line. You cake, dude. So Lumen, if you're still here around here, or uh, uh, Infernal Baby, if you're still around here, and you would like to play another set, please get back up in here. I mean, you could also try. Uh, I would also wouldn't mind. Oh, well, hold on. Wait. Ba -ba -ba. There's an infernal baby. They're in here. First come, first serve. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Oh, the lobby might have broken. So I guess we're gonna remake. All right, so get back in here. New lobby. New lobby, hop in here. Nilo, Infernal Baby, or whoever else can get in here faster. That's a thing. Who can get in faster? I got last of the dude. Nilo, you gotta get in here. Whoop. Whoop. Unless they're playing and I didn't see it because it looked broken. Broken lobby. They may have started playing a game with Infernal Baby. Happens. It doesn't look like like you entered the game because Skull's lobbies are you know <laughs> finicky. <laughs> Jumping the gun. I don't know, man. <laughs> May have played one against uh, Infernal Baby. I'm not sure if they're in the in the thing yet. <laughs> open lobby versus open lobby. That would be interesting. Ah, uh, yeah. Please check out. They, well, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> yes, please let Nilo know uh, that the lobby broke. Get him back in here. So I guess if we're going to play this out the way it seems to be, uh, let's have Laz the Dude fight Nilo next and then Thok. Okie dokie. Cool. It's possible to have my match soon. Oh, sure. Oh yeah, dude. I forgot. You're like, you're, yeah. The timing is not great. Um. 
Yeah, we'll 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 move you up uh, right after this one. Let me go. Sure. Here is the lobby link. Bonk. And there it is again. Oh, it's, that's the real one, actually. The one that last linked is the real one. There we go. Okay, so Laz and Nilo go at it once, and then we get Thok in there, so it's a match against different people. Set of different varying... Huzzah! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Let's see how they do against the big band, the biggest band. Okay, so they have. Ah, oh, that's, that's a pretty good team. This is all in the mind. Nice jab, jab is actually a good idea because that, that's a good challenge at the round start with Parasol. Oh, that's a grab, though. That's punish. Okay, confirms. The combo of sorts, yeah. And something. When you see the uh, so so this kind of matters for your intermediate actually um there there are certain bounces that happen when you've hit the grounds on soft knockdown and hard knockdown um hard knockdown you won't exactly see a bounce it'll be just like a yellow spark um but on soft knockdown you'll have otg which is purple sparks that means you can pick up the the uh opponent again after you've covered them once and they ground bounce um you'll also see blue sparks which that means you can auto tech uh, that means you hold left or right and press a button and you can tech left or right on either side of the screen so that is very important for you because you may you may have an okie situation where you actually want to tech away from the opponent or tech toward the opponent and that really 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 matters uh for what you're going to do next the match hit up with the a train that's a dead parasol nice overhead Oh, seems like we're more familiar with the Philly. Oh, we hit that. Nice. Interesting. <laughs> spire. Nice Spire. I have to spend all the bar. That makes sense. I, I mean, Gregor would have killed, but... Sure. Not bad, not bad. All right. Thank you for playing. And let's get Thok in there. Yeah, you've got gotten like yeah, that makes sense. Also true. There there are definitely other ways of approach for big band. Elbras Yes, up next is Leela versus Drac. So he needs he needs to have his match soonish. Uh, cause for him, the, the time for him is super late in the morning. Gonna have Leela versus Drive next. Without the brick. Why? Works. Good grab. Yeah. <laughs> That's also true. Uh, any grab that you do scales the combo to 50%, which means you overall do less damage. Uh, so, yeah. It's not, it's not exactly the greatest thing to do grabs, but it, it all depends on what kind of grab it is. If it's Fuku I'll grab, then it's pretty bad. <laughs> not just yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, is Nilo and Thok in a match right now? Might be broken. Uh, 
It's not because of multiple hits. It's it's just that's the scaling mechanic for grabs. <laughs> All right. Very right, thin for sight. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing cost copy boss. So you could we could save. <laughs> and lobby must be broke, so hold on. Let me make a new lobby. Boop, boop, boop. Bam. Bam. And here we are. New lobby. Uh, oh y'all played i didn't even get to see it that's unfortunate well we'll just get leela up in here and then thank you all for playing i wish i could have seen it that's okay though um that's a cool day. uh so uh try get back in here come on back It's it's all right. Yeah, even though we didn't get to see it, I, I think I I think we got what we needed to say for for Nilo. So it's all good. Get him on later though, because Leela needs to do his match. Because it's about to be one a.m. for him. Where you at, Dry? Come back. Yes, that is true. If you use multi-hitting moves at the start of your combo, you actually end up doing less damage overall. So single hard-hitting moves you want to start off in the beginning and then multi-hitting moves at the end because that's how scaling works. Let's see what Dry's been up to lately, what Leela's been up to. That was a good approach by Leela doing the CHP. Nice block, uh, but that's only because the uh, SHP kind of saved, saved you from hurting that badly. Nice pun well you had the punish, so you didn't necessarily need to do a light punish and then grab. Uh you could have just gone straight into whatever combo you had going on first. Uh I will say lock and load with double is actually really heckin' good, because you can do hella damage. So if you can you can get that to combo. Silly side combos. Nice. Hit the grab tech, that's that's a good old 33 Hard to block pulse. I have a question. I'm building arcade stick myself right now. Is it a good idea? Surely, yeah. I mean, uh, whatever input method is your preference will work with this game. Like, it's no, no big deal. Some keyboard to switch or, or to stick. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, whatever is more comfortable for you. That's fine. That's that's the only thing, though. Uh, it depends on what materials you're using for the uh, arcade stick uh, because it can get very expensive very fast. I personally have a hitbox that I made myself, uh, but I also got it from a third-party supplier. It was very worth it for all the bells and whistles. Okay. Nice cross under. Good stuff. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good old exclamation mark BNB. Good idea to have. I think I've ever tried an actual arcade stick. I mean, it does hurt doing <laughs> nice. 140 on parts and buttons and stuff. I'm fairly certain you could get like a good acrylic case for not that much money either. Just uh, if you want to set your parts into that. Cause that's a good, like going with plastic is um, it's probably a better bet for you. Because 140 USD is, is a lot, even though it doesn't seem like it. Go time. Round start grab. Not 
bad of an option. I would go with something a little more aggressive, though. You could also make one out of a shoebox, because that's what Psychopath does. And shoebox hitboxes in Arcade 6 are actually pretty awesome. Nice horse. Not horse. Albus. That's the one. Caught him looking. Or a pizza box. Also a pizza box. Any any kind of box, honestly, that can accommodate uh, the buttons and stuff is actually not that bad. Phone book. True. Good, good awareness on the Albus. A good conversion on the signature move for Eliza. That was an awesome burst bait. Heavy counterhead. I agree. I still got one more string. Yep. You can spend. Yes, I agree. I think level three, if you were facing the other direction, would actually kill. I don't think it kills like this. Yes. <laughs> don't, buy, don't buy long pizza then. <laughs> Oh, got hit with the overhead. Leela, no. Caught him looking. But, 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 but. Yeah, these are the these are the big band combos. You could have killed. Why are you not doing the thing, my dude? Just go for it. Leela, you got five meter. <laughs> uh, another thing I also see some intermediate players do uh, is not spend their bar when they have it. Especially if they have five meter. Because, yeah, I mean, at this kind of current place, right, you've got five meter, you can't gain anymore. Uh, so all you can do is spend. So it doesn't hurt if you go for like a cat heads or go for cat heads car or like silly slide well spaced into monster. Like five meter, spend that bar so you can get more bar. Yeah, dude. Psychopath's designer shoes one was pretty good. Have chocolate. Chocolate this the last game? <laughs> it's not the last game, no. It's not the last game. Uh, we're, we're doing Leela's early because he, uh, he needs to go to bed. <laughs> oh, nice grab tech. Very cool. <gasps> raid! Sorrow's raiding me! Oh my god. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Welcome. That was a good match, actually. I would have waited a couple frames more and then done, uh, done, uh, what you call it? The di uh, was it Diamond Dynamo? Let's go! Because then you would have kept to the, uh, the heck of the corner. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Good to see you. That was actually a really good. Oh, Let's no punish go. though. Appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. It's reading our room. Is that okay? And right before I saw it. Went for the, in the, in the very low air dash. Very low air dash. Oh man. No, Leela. I can't believe this. Look like I use Eliza Ben too. Yeah. Eliza Ben's pretty good. Can, can confirm. I wish you were here when Havoc was still around, cause they they had Eliza Ben like crazy. Welcome, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. All right, and then we'll continue with you where uh, with our uh, regularly uh, schedule. Yeah, great. Uh, so let's do Dilly Yee versus Golden Clap. Please get up, get up on here for this heck. Thank you, Dretrap. Appreciate you. Thank you, Lula. See if we got uh got Dilly versus at Golden Clap if they're around. If you got Golden Clap on your friends list, please message them to get them in here. You're also part of today's tournament. Exclamation mark D I S C R D tournament. It's not a tournament. Uh 
this today's event. Uh, get up in this Discord so we can call your name. Get up in here, bro. So let's see, where is the hecking heck? So here. Hold and clap. The Val Gamer. And a hello. What happened? That's my name. Uh, do you want me to come pretend that I know what I was thinking? Get in here, Swagger. Where are you at, bruh? Yeah. Okay. Swagger, get in here. Well, I well I can't actually. Well, yes, you can. Just get in here, actually. <laughs> Part of the sack. Get in here. We have Dilly D. We're looking for at Golden Clap. I send commenting. They they want to commentate. I need help. I need help. <laughs> oh, wait, let me let me get on all this. <laughs> <laughs> we were. Where's my guy? Is he's a troop shenanigans? Oh, did he just yeah. get there? Oh, he just got there. Hello! I, I wasn't able to join the thing. I'm so sorry. I needed help. <laughs> You're muted? Oh. <laughs> so my son, I forgot to tell you that you have a new stepdad. Yeah. So, JP, this oh, is your stepson, Swagga. Oh, heck. I forgot to tell you when we got married oh. that this is my other child. Oh. Teach me to ride a bike, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Now that you know how to drive, oh, you can teach Swagga to ride a bike. Oh, you can teach Swagger to drive. I could teach Swagger to drive. That's actually true. <laughs> like, how far away is Ohio? <laughs> Ohio's not that far away. Uh, copy paste your browser. Your browser. So. So add you on Steam. Archel Swagga. That's You're still not online on Steam, by the way. Who's supposed to be fighting Dilly D? Where are they? Uh, this Golden Clap is saying that the link is not working for them. Uh, I'm saying that they could copy paste this link into their browser and it should work. Yeah. So let's see. Get the man here. The lobbies are incredibly stable. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Listen, who needs stable lobbies? That's for like the unadventurous. <laughs> the unadventurous. No. Hopefully we can get them in here. Can't get it through there. You could join the get great chat, although I'm phasing this out fairly soon. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll add you on Steam. Unity. What if I need the HTTPS, probably.
While we're getting this set up, somebody in chat make a joke. <laughs> somebody in chat make a joke. And then we'll invite Golden Clap. I do. I need to <laughs> joke. You have one. It's... Invite to lobby. There you go. <laughs> there we go. We got him. We're in here. We're starting though. Okay, okay, okay. Cut down. What? Lila. <laughs> this is false. <laughs> Come on. Thanks for stopping by, though. <laughs> it's a. Ah! <laughs> it's math. <laughs> it does. Oh, wow. In with the pressure. Trying to go for a crouch heart punch. It's a little bit risky because, you know, it only has one hand of armor. Uh, and, you know, um, Fortune has a, a good way of dealing with that very easily. She's got a lot of multi hand moves and moves that are very fast. She has the fastest jab in the game at, at uh, five frames because, you know, she needs that. Um, <laughs> they were, in fact, all words. Uh, I agree with this method, though. You know, jump hard punch the head. Harass the head. It's a grand plan. It does a bunch of damage to Fortune without even touching her. Okay, so Nothing. JP, I don't mean to alarm you, but yes. I think when you talk loud enough, it stops coming out of your mic and starts coming out of the other mic. Oh, really? So, like, your your normal voice is cutting out, and then we get far away, JP. That is weird. What Blinking is means happening? mute, right? No, blinking does not mean mute. Solid means mute? Oh, oh yes, blinking. Oh, yeah, my bad, yes. Okay, that's mute. This is... Oh, man. Is, is it just because it's coming through your mic? <gasps> I had it backwards as to what was muting my <laughs> mic and what was not. Oh, man. This is my fault entirely. <laughs> I thought it was just on my end, and then someone in the chat was like, JP Echo, I'm like, oh, it's not just me. No, JP sounded like, like little staccato bits of something, and oh, then man. nothing. That's exciting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go away so I don't fuck everything up again. No. It's for real me. It's for real me. <laughs> Heck. Talk, we're not friends apparently. Wow, I can't believe this. How could you? Those those puns were glorious. <laughs> I'm sorry, I <laughs> said I was gone, puns. but then I finished reading all of the clocks. <laughs> not the clocks, the jokes. There's a joke about clocks. Okay, anyway, bye. <laughs> wow. Hit him with with the blitzer. Oh my. Here, kitty kitty. Oh dear. Nice attack. Well, you shouldn't go to attack, attack on the first ground maps. That's okay. Cross under. Cross ups. Confident in the headless? <laughs> I wonder. Ouch. That's cross up. Actually, it's, it's spooky Beowulf cross up things. But of course, we're fortune, so we do massive damage. Right? <laughs> oh, we're trying to grab. Eh, not the best plan because you're still in the combo. Not exactly your turn just yet. We're grabbing again on the wake up. What's that PVGC? We're not blocking. Unfortunate. Well, you hit the head and no punish, but we stopped blocking. Okay. Fortune. All right. So, Golden Clap, you've certainly got some things down, but I feel like you need a headless BNB because kind of important. Uh, you can certainly flail with the headless, but it's not exactly the the best plan. Uh, why does Headless Fortune uh, deal so much damage? Yeah. I think we asked Mike Z for that one, but you know, he's I think he's the banned. correct question is why does Fortune deal so much damage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How 
was Rome split in two? What's Rome split in two? She does the- yeah, she is- yeah, definitely. My god. <laughs> can't believe- <laughs> I can't believe it's- Pair of C- oh no. <laughs> oh no, we're interacting with the Soul Sword Natrium. That's not great. Gotta be careful about things in the air at that point. Uh, okay. No confirm. We jab. Oh, that was a very early reset. Maybe a little too early. Slide. Confirm. Oh, we already used that button though. Dash up jab. It's dumb. Yes, it is. Jab is very dumb. We stop blocking. No. Yeah, it, it just looks. I'm sorry. It just looks like flailing headless. That's a punish. You start to convert it. Whenever you see a green bounce happening on the opponent or, or on yourself, you got a couple frames to be able to take away. Uh, but you, you could also continue comboing. A high risk maneuver, because that's how this stage works. And it's VO, and it's gotten slightly weird. I, I mean, I'd still be harassing the head rather than throwing away the chair. Okay. Beowulf, no, you died. That's a punish. That's a punish. Oof. Use that button. Makes sense. Giant step. Giant step. Another giant step. And another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perhaps not so many giant steps. That's that's also punishable in itself. Because you've got, you've got four meter and you use uh, fortune level three to be able to connect, counter that pretty easily. Interesting. Let's move on to the next. How, how are you doing, Swagger? How, how's, how's your life going? I'm eating ravioli. Ravioli? Heck, I need some ravioli. Man. We can make Mr. tortellini. We're so things. busy today at work that I didn't get a lunch break. I'm so sorry. That sucks. That's not good. Your work gives you a lunch break. I don't even know what my breaks are for work. Uh... All right, let's get uh, Jace, Jaitsu versus Manu in here. Link. Jaitsu, if you're watching, versus at Manu, if you're watching, you're not. You're up next. Boo. Whoa. Had <laughs> Jay Stew on Sunday. Jay Stew. Attacking the head when it when the body is far away is a good idea. Yes. Harassing the head forces the opponent to come in close because you know Fortune just loses a bunch of health when the head is harassed. Okay. 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 Definitely try not to use H drill on block as it is a very, very minus. It's a minus 15. You certainly don't want to be using that on block. L drill is a better option because that is a minus three on block and that's safe ish. I wish I knew frame data. Burst bait? Man, nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Here we go. Good block. It's actually respectable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doing a trill is, is a, certainly a, a, a fresh pet habit for, for new Fuquas, which is understandable. Oh my god, we mashed out Bay level 3. Alright. Okay. I like it. Boom. <laughs> oh, but overhead, it's fine. You certainly could have contested with Daisy. That's like a thing. 
Daisy Pusher versus Thea Wolf. Great idea. Level three. He has to hold that, but it's you know it's a lot of it was very expensive. Nice low. Just pressing buttons all the way down. So whenever whenever you're pressing buttons on the way down from from jumping in the air, you you uh, don't get the block on the way down. Overhead. Was that a, was that a cross up? What just happened? Ba 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 boosh. Uh, okay. Ba 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 boosh. They're dead. <laughs> it was very strange. That is Japanese squiggly. Yes, that's what that was. Drill is pretty fast, actually. It's it's very. Uh, the startup is short, uh, but the recovery is usually very long. Though it's between whatever normal you have into uh, drill is not a true block string. Heck, good night, Inferno baby. Thanks for coming by. Take a load off. The assist hit the hit for that one. Oh, you had you had the punish. You didn't need to go for a tick throw. Because blitzer on block is minus two. Means it is punishable. Also, a bunch of recovery on the way down. Nice burst. And it's major. Oh, good. Grabbed on the way in. The way in. Okay, okay. Buttons? Another grab? Yes. It is it's minus two on block. Uh but it's it's still punishable. Bubba bu. Yes. Definitely counter hit state until he lands. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, counter hit state means that once you've done a move, you're in the recovery for that move. That is def definitely counter hit state, because then you have to re you have to you're left in recovery frames once you've passed. Start up an active. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This way has got it's fine. Backup fireball is a strategy that I agree with. If you want to be able to confirm from that far away, though, when when you've done the assist call for Swiggly, um, you need to dash up and do stand me to kick because that pushes her forward. Oh, good blocks. I would say, Jade Sue, you need to focus on push blocking because you don't have to hold any of that pressure. Not that it's not real or anything, but you don't have to hold it. It's good to block. Yes. Blocking, good. You also don't have to hold any of the pressure. Oh, he thought grab on the way in. That's an interesting burst bait. Not that I've seen before. Nice grab. Ooh, yeah. Interesting. That only did two hits. Can you pick up from there? Because you got the thing? Yeah. Level three and you hold that. But it's very expensive as well. Blocking look good, but how to block it? Honestly, you just keep playing the game. You have to play a lot of matches to be able to see everything that that characters have to offer. So, so then when you see a mix-up, you just know what to block and how to block it. Oh, 128 Python! Ow, it's very painful. Gotta be careful. <laughs> or not bad, y'all. Not bad. Uh, J2 definitely, definitely. A little bit more push blocking to get to be able to get yourself out of uh pressure situations like that but you can certainly set up mix-ups and stuff but push blocking more often than not saves your life we've got pecone versus thok so yeah you can't that's true you, you can block a long time but you can't block forever 
Ah, fuck. Picone. So Picone, Picone's here. Yeah. Partly with the you have to guess right every time. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, you have to guess every time. Yeah. How to push block jab into tick throw. Um, eh, push blocking and then canceling it a jab is not exactly the best idea because it, it depends on like the the string that they have going on you have to mash jab like a madman uh and sometimes it's not a good idea because you might not have the fastest jab in the game to be able to punish or it might not be the correct string to be able to jab against The soul of parasol. Nice look. Nice pressure. That's good. It was hard, hard to blockables there. I think the overheads and the overhanded low was pretty, a pretty standard thing. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Cross under mix up. Yes. Nicely done. But we're on full and dizzy, so the, the thing to be aware of is how far you've gone into your strings to be able to make the next reset. Um, and it's, uh, I think currently it's better to reset early than it is to reset later, because then you're you're not having to worry about so much in dizzy happening once like that, uh, and then getting hit with the weird burst. It was a good reaction into the pillar. With a punish. A train. That's expensive. I don't know that we should have done level three like that. Now you're now you're meter negative. Well, parasol's up positive, but dead parasol like that. This big Ben skips ratios. Keep it, that's an interesting color for like. Let's go! Oh heck, thanks. Nice grab tech. What the heck? Oh, well, we saw the skeleton come out, so we probably should have spent the bar to put the skeleton back in the body or, uh, you know, grab the skeleton. Ba, 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 cross under. Oh, wow, that's cool. Never seen that before, actually. Good interaction. So, put block, not bad. <laughs> Nice. Oh, we we did we, the the mix up not too well. Not bad though. They at least understand them. Pick on at least understands the mix up at the corner. That's a good idea. It's good good to have in your back pocket. Nice brass. That's a, that was that would have been an amazing bait, but we didn't punish it. Wrong toss. Yeah. Good push block. Good push block. Nice. Bought the A train. Uh, no overhead mix because they were jumping. A train. Gotta be careful with those A trains uh, and brasses as well. Uh, Cause it makes you pretty unsafe, even though you've got armor to them. Ba ba bam. Uh, okay, go spin the bar. Nice. Keep the lock done. That's a lot of respect. Nice. Punish. The A train. Spin the bar. Well, if you're gonna spend the bar, you might as well spend the bar to to DHC into Eliza because Band is bleeding pretty badly. What's wrong, sweetie? I'm tossing out a lot of things. It's not exactly in Eliza's direction, though. I mean, uh, in your general area is decent, but you, you want to be able to threaten the opponent from far away. Ba -ba -ba. 
Mm, this I exactly wouldn't want to spend the bar because uh, you get a bounce. There's Oki, but you don't have enough meter to actually do anything because you're going back to the body immediately. No tech. Level 3 is acceptable, but I would have, uh, if it were me playing it, I would have gotten my health back <laughs> and have more of a chance to be able to keep on with the match. Especially with Eliza, if, if you're going to be spending bar, it's got to be for a pretty dang good reason. Like, like you, they're at low health, so it's worth killing them. Or if you want knockdown, definitely that. But since since she uses a lot of that meter with segment and stuff, it's, it's kind of precious. She's not exactly a battery. Unless you do all the optimal meter gain stuff. But uh, no confirm. Oh, rip. Uh, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world if you don't use segment a lot. Actually, um, you could totally play Eliza with that much segment, but then you'd be losing out on some conversions and stuff, which is again not awful. But uh, it's worthwhile in understanding how what segment does and how how they work. Well, I said that we got two resetted to death, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Nice low. You had the hit though, so that means you could have gone into it. Could have just kept on going. Yeah, okay, okay. A train, nice block. Good confirm. Oh, please stop blocking. That's that. that. Caught him, caught him on the ground. Okay, that's a lot of bar though. I don't, I don't know. Oh, well, you shouldn't certainly not do bar, do SSJ from that point. That's a that's a bad idea. Um, that's asking to get hurt from full screen because then you can't protect yourself. Oliver, you're still learning. Oliver, how old are you? Have like 70 more years of life. All right, life lessons with <laughs> with my family. <laughs> All right. Don't let yes. Don't let <laughs> Definitely. Don't let yes. We can give you as, as much advice as possible, but don't try to be perfectionistic about it. And you will, you will actually die. It's not great. I want you alive, please. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next thing. Uh, cry, son. cry, your turn. And was that, is that Cabadont? Cabadont? Something like that. Uh, let's cry, cry havoc. Cry havoc is already here. Yep. And let's get it. Our other dude up in this lobby. Uh, yeah, Cabadil pushes and cry. Oh! See if they're up in the chat. Thanks so much, Thok. Appreciate you coming here. Awesome. I know, cry, please. <laughs> I mean, he sh he surely could, but he's he's like really hard on himself at nine years old. Like he should not be that hard on himself. Sorry, I'm out of lollipop. That's my most favorite intro for Fukuo. Can't confirm. Oh, we got a classic Val Bella. That's actually a really good team. Okay. Well, Atrial is definitely punishable, so you don't have to push block that the first set. You just let it rock. You just let that rock on, on your block, and you can you can punish them with a jab. For me, playing Val, this is this is very methodical Val play. Uh, but if it were me, just just straight up playing Val Valentine, I'd be tossing out crosses pretty dang often. Almost like Fukua, also tossing out fireballs pretty often. That's punishable. So you just you just jab that. 
H real super minus. Overhead, okay. That's a low. Confirm. I did. Alrighty. That was a cross up. Oh man. Wild. H real punishable. There you go. Found the bar. Yeah, sure. Bonk. Nice OGG conversion, sort of. Almost that's a punish. Yes, definitely. Tell him that it's not safe. <laughs> nice grab. Yeah, we're just, we just kind of staring at each other. That's a little too slow, though. Doing the BFF conversion there was pretty dang slow. Well, doing fireball is not great on the opponent's wake up. That's not not a good option to be doing because uh, you could just be throwing away a bar pretty hard yeah. the game's not over till it's over so even if the bella has a pixel left and you're throwing off fireball they could just as easily reflect her that and then you're dead you're in the combo and that's not fun so don't waste meter just because you think they'll die because they may not just they just may not die <laughs> And this is my favorite stage. Here we are. What? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No push block. We're not really threatening much as Val, though. Like, you, you want to be able to force Cry Havoc to contest you. Like, we're playing patiently, but a little too patiently. Unga Val mode. A, a little bit of Unga. Like, we need a little bit of Unga. That's, this is too much respect. Like it's fine to respect your your opponent, but but like you gotta toss out some buttons too. Nice, good overhead. Crossing. Oh no, we're just thinking. Well, dude, same. It's been side side twice now. Nice, that was good. Nice overhead. Cross some overhead. Okay, okay, okay. That's minus four for the fireball. Okay. okay, good patience. That's punchable. Uh, we did run stop. If we didn't want that, punchable. How do you get consistent with Val stuff? <laughs> uh, you just do it a lot. Just you know, then you get in that lab, press all those buttons. You get consistent by just practicing it. Frank used to say, uh, perfect practice makes perfect, but you, I mean, how do you know what perfect practice is if you don't just start with practicing? <laughs> the screws keep falling out of stuff? That's unfortunate. That's scary. Oh, caught him jumping. Low techs. A heavy punch. He wasn't blocking. Oh, dear. And there's that weird C CLP, CHP thing that happens. And <laughs> it's better than screws. And yeah, we didn't block it all either for that fireball. You can reflect it, that fireball. Any projectile that, that uh, is coming towards Bella's face, you can reflect it. Even Eliza's DP. Because that's a thing. Oh, poop. <laughs> but Swagger nails are scary. They're pointy on the end. Screws are like, you know, swirly and not, you know, they have a pointy, but it doesn't seem it's threatening. You can reflect Fuqua shadows. Yes. H shadow and L shadow is reflectorable. Not M shadow because that's a hit grab. Oh, caught him looking. Watch your toes, my dude. Now watch your toes. There's a time when it's a good time to uh, stop blocking them and press a button. Yeah, we're not we're in, and and uh, kind of noticed that that we're push push blocking in the middle of certain strings and and not actually pushing the the opponent away. Uh, nice, nice grab tech. Yeah, so you want to be able to push block at the end of animations that won't actually stop them from moving away from you during push block, because um, then it's just a bad push block. Um, so 
since since the objective is to push them away from you um you want you want to do it in a, in a moment where you know after the first hit or after the the fourth hit in a multi-hitting move definitely push block a little bit that way. also also uh yeah see all of this uh you, you don't have to hold much of that so you you're patient too patient that sometimes it's it's bad to be too patient um yeah sometimes you don't want them to stay close because you know the objective is to push them away um unless the objective is to actually punish with a cancelable move then that would be the time to do that but you know certain situations called for other things um another thing uh fugua fireball on block uh is not safe you can you can normal punish that uh depending on the distance uh and you can also pvgc punish it so on the first hit of the fireball you push block the fireball you enter a move and fuqua hurts a lot fuqua gets hurt a lot all right let's keep this gravy train going uh let's get gloomy rin and your local dunce stuns is right here in the chat Not like other parasols versus gloomy rim. Wherever y'all are at. Gloomy rim. Your local dunce. Can you, yes, you can reflect the fortune head. It depends on the move, though. You can reflect the head. The head by itself has project up, projectile moves. It's like, it. like you need to practice the map to, yeah. to play that. Yeah, and pretty much, yeah, pretty much everything except Nom, because that's a hit grab. Yeah, you might as well just do 150 CC, because that's more manageable. It speed and actually control. Hit me with it, let me see. Nice. So from that that specific distance, almost at full full spacing of SHP for Parasol, you have to sniper in order to confirm the next string. So you can't you can't fireball, otherwise it, it's not just not a true string. Yep, and again, same situation. Nice tech, actually. It's hard to tech after parasols hit you uh, out of the air with jump heart punch. Dunce has been practicing. Nice. Nice overhead. Caught him pushing buttons. Low again. Overhead. Nice. Good stuff. Fortune head pressure is fairly difficult to deal with. Nice. You had to confirm. He didn't keep going. <laughs> you gotta believe in your confirms. Okay. 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 Very patient. Patient blocks. Okay. Punch the head. I agree. Yeah, to respect it. But that doesn't mean you don't have options. Yeah, exactly. Good stuff. The Lady of Slaughter. Whoa! Oh man, just right into the civil court. Makes sense. Good idea. Alright, we're up a cut. Okay, gotta be careful with using the meter for the, the bones there. Because uh, you might end up needing that meter. That was a good opportunity to use crouch shooting kick, but not crouch shooting kick itself. Because that's a that's a spooky. See, well, now that situation, you definitely should have bursted. Because otherwise the opponent could have just kept going. Whenever you see the purple sparks, you definitely want to burst. It is not, not bad to uh, not burst. It's also not bad to burst. Depends on the situation, but you know, a lot of higher level players don't burst uh, in general because they, they don't think it's real. It's, it's uh, generally better to stay near the opponent. The push block into the SPL was a great idea, uh, only if you confirmed. That's much, oh, but not close enough. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. The tag. Good block on the tag. Just, just you know, elbows in your face. It's rough. Gloomy Ren also giving a lot of respect. Some things you don't have to respect. So you definitely want to push block a little more to get you out of tight situations. Mm -mm. Notice how times the character keeps blocking when I've let go block and tried to do something. Yes, whenever whenever you're blocking and you well that only really happens if you're blocking and then you do push block, you let go of everything, you're still blocking. For at least the next 25 frames. Take the shot. We tag out? Not quite sure. It, it didn't seem like Parasol was in any heap of trouble. It didn't, it didn't seem like a bad situation overall. Don't punish. Good confirm. Well, you almost had to confirm. Dash, air dash. Nice block on the lows. It's good patience. Iris Spiral. Nope. Drop the combo. Okay. You dashed away. We double the low. Confirm. Uh, well, you, you definitely have to wait for them to hit the ground before you can. Continue with the combo. That is cool. Birthday. Do we know the mid screen or the mid screen? The corner. This works, but uh, generally uh, Eliza's a happy birthday combo. It's crotch medium kick, crotch heart punch, and you just loop that. Very easy. Or you could do fancier things in the corner, but uh, that one's the better one. Uh, return birthday. That base up. Thank you. Beep, uh, my dude, why are you crouch lighting? Just crouch me and kick. <laughs> that is your confirm. You just do that. You already used LTG. If, if, in case you didn't notice. What? That's a level 3 mash. Ouch. Uh, dead parcel. Not bad. Okay. When you see, whenever you see it, like if this, especially for this mirror match, uh, if you see the uh, the opponent Liza is doing horse, you can push block and DP it, and then you get your confirm that way. What? Ba ba. There's the conversion, but we drop it. Nice grab. No, we're slow with the conversion. A little too slow on the return as well. So you need to return immediately and then go for a crutch wing kick in that situation. I say air grab is pretty BS. Yeah, it's it's fairly far, although it's got a hurt box on top of the grab. So it's kind of okay and kind of BS, it all depends. Yes, Eliza, yeah, Rin's, Rin's Eliza color is, uh, what you call it? What's your name? Ajna. Indivisible. This ends now. Everybody warmed up. Skill is only good if you lab it. Uh, yeah, like with most things. Yeah. You kind of have to lab out skill situations. That's pretty interesting. Nice, good patience on the burst, actually. That was definitely a burst bait. <clears throat> you don't see it often. Yeah, you have to play more Eliza's. Um, it's almost preferable that you snap versus grab, though. Uh, because depending on the frames... Wow, that was a cross on That was weird. Um, it's, depending on the frames, it's better to snap. And then just get the conversion. Headless is hard on keyboard, I will say. Like, I could see that. Oh, hold that. Oh, no, you got push block, but no confirm of that. That's rough. You might need to switch to another input method. That's, that's ouch. 
A Cyrus Spiral from the distance is not exactly great. Um, and this is not... You didn't exactly need to do that because you can cancel out of um, Parasol's level 3 uh, by using Eligrit. So you didn't, need, you didn't necessarily need to waste that meter. That was an interesting interaction with the hitboxes and spacing. Nice air grab. Conversion. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, an old keyboard with most of the keys removed would probably make a good hitbox. If you could, like, get get those things read easily. A little too slow on, on the DP punish right there from push block, although it was a good attempt. It was definitely worthwhile doing. Yeah, okay, swap out to the head. The, the, the catless, the, the headless cat. Oh my god. Bam, 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 bam. We sped the bar, but they're not exactly dead yet. Do you really want to use the meter for a DHC option or for when the character's in a pinch, like like this fortune level three? Or, you know, it's really mostly to get you out of a bind uh, or to kill. That's for the most part, and like, that's my fun meter. Okay, Swiggly, Swiggly Sing to SPO, you really want to use when you see the opponent actually doing something on screen. So, like, if you see them just walking backwards, it's probably not the best idea to, do, to use your SPO meter. Uh, to use your meter for SPO like that. Because for Swiggly, meter is definitely precious. Like, you, you, need to, you need to hold that with your life. Nice to know. Control with all the bottom, the buttons to the bottom. Uh, that'd be interesting. Uh, there's also, like, they make those ergo keyboards where you split the thing in half if you want to try to hitbox it that way. So, like, half a keyboard, smaller, there's a smaller size, form factor and stuff. Not bad. That'll work out. But, uh, not bad. Not bad, y'all. Just, just real play. Let's move on to the next thing. So, we got... Ram... Is that Ramdom? Ramdom? <laughs> Rock 16 versus Danimus. Random. Where is, is it Danmus? A Danmus. Europe. I wrote this up on the weekly. Oh lord. That message. Well, at least they're here. <laughs> Wrong place. Danmus. Random Rock 16. So, let's see. You can find random rocks to see if they're in the Get Grid Chat or if they're over here. Random rocks and mist in the chat. B. Random. Let's see if they're here. Okay. Wait a couple couple minutes to see if they're here or not. Keep dropping my cat inputs because I'm not that warmed up. Understandable. Uh, I wish I could mod the game to remove any highs and lows from any from my character. <laughs> That'd be weird. That would, that would definitely be a weird game. All right, let's see if random rock shows up at some point. If you have a random rocks 16 in your friends list, please send them a message because I do not, unfortunately. See if I can find them. Rocks six. Oh, huh? 
Angular Drive. Angular Drive. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Let's see here. Rock sixteen. them in the discord let's see Pinged. give them the cue uh give them a few minutes and then we'll just make it an open lobby what uh, these people not showing up yep yeah. the character's name will be talking to, i guess so uh Crashing? Is that is that what they are? Yeah. Okay. What a name. Triples. Interesting. Yeah, Parasol, Philly, and Fuqua. I agree. Sea slide. Sea slide is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, not bomb a shot though. Like in respect you? You don't necessarily have to push block that. In fact, you can you can punish. But good idea on punishing the pillar though, because that's not safe on block. Nice, good brush bait. Uh then you can do something much more respectable than trying to, you know, contest them on Oki. Because Parasol definitely has that big old pillar. Nice. You had a good block. Hard to blockable. Ooh, sea slide. We killed Bike Guy, can't believe this. But also, a good idea. Ba -ba 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 Bam. Nice. Dead parcel. Good stuff. Nice. Punishable. Definitely punishable. Like, you had to push along the first hit, not the last hit. Ba -ba -do -do. Okay. Dead parcel. Try to go for. Schmix. Grab. Conversion into BFF. Okay, nice. Bam, bam. Well, that's unfortunate. Man, unfortunate for the drop on both end, on both parts. Birthday. Snap a sap. Yes. Interesting birthday. That works, yeah. Nice high low. Ah, uh, we caught him push blocking. Yeah, the low. Nope. Rip. Yeah, he did the H drill. Couldn't could have contested that with slide. Slide in neutral is not exactly the best plan because as soon as you slide, you have to convert into monster to make it safeish. But it's not safeish anymore because that's minus like fifteen, minus sixteen, something like that, minus eleven actually. Um, so it's not safe anymore to do that. So tossing out a C slide is an online thing. Don't do the online thing. You may catch once, but it's unlikely that it'll keep working. Play Robo Spiral. Robo Spiral's not bad. Yep. Oh, we. I don't think we wanted that. That crossed me. That crossed me up, dude. What? I don't think we're supposed to land on that side. We're on the opposite side. Careful about the sea slides. Punishable, yes. Not with C slide, certainly. You have more startup and C slide than you do on CLK. So it's better to light like, punish it. Again, another C slide. If you've failed many times at this point, it's not worth trying. Good blocks, okay. No conversion, unfortunately. Nice bait on the pillow, though. 
Oh, nice. Good conversion on the cat on the the double. No, what a drop. Rip. That's certainly not what you wanted, no man. <laughs> Aren't hitting because you're bad? No. It's not because it's bad. It's actually not bad. It's just unwise to be trying. It's 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 bad to do unless it's spaced correctly. And, and unless you're really feeling like the opponent's just not respecting you at all. <clears throat> Dead parcel. Nice. Ba -ba. Cross under. Well, I went for the grab instead. Okay. A little too fast. A little too fast. No conversion with the Philia. But we got the lull though. Reset. You didn't exactly need it. You didn't even have full. You didn't even start accruing a dizzy just until like the third hit or, or like the fifth hit. Nice. Conversion. That. Again, you could you could have killed. Uh, you still had one more string in, in you. Okay, conversion. So that one you don't you didn't need to uh, convert with light punch. Although it does make it easier. Uh, the extra hit there uh, for for all the scaling that you that we were in. Not exactly worth it. You could you could have just heavy punch. This is punishable. Absolutely. You should have just kept going with light punch. Just used all all, all the hits of uh, Eliza DP. It was not worth trying to do a light punch heavy punch because it doesn't push back enough. Use Clyde to call out high block. How do you know that they're going to high block though? It, it, you would, you wouldn't. <laughs> it's just not exactly. We need like a little, little better of a situation than just high block. Oh no, conversion! Rip. See that? Okay. That's sound reasoning. Yeah. Pretty much, it's Clyde is just it works until it doesn't. Um, and, and at higher levels, it really just won't be working so easily. But yeah, that's that's like sound reasoning though. Okay, that's a, kind of a bad time to reset, especially, especially because of this mash and smash out right here. Hey, with the DP, didn't know which way we were going. Nice log. Yeah, we're pressing buttons. Uh, I'm not sure that you wanted to do that. Hmm. That was a weird conversion. That's another Clyde. Uh, yeah, fridge. You should not have double jumped over that fridge. Like that was a punish. That's definitely a punish. Spend the bar. Yeah, at that point, I would have just monstered it again. <laughs> Skullgirls players would love to hear uh, Maybe. I don't have to see what it is. See, Clyde like that? Not a great idea. You got hit pretty hard for it. Interesting. Egg out. That's because we didn't want to spend the bar. No high blocking. No confirm. It's rough. Okay, so trashing, you really need to work on the consistency of your combos. Uh, because there's a lot of drops where there shouldn't be. Interesting. Another burst. Uh, no. Well, yes, that's a good idea, actually. Spend the bar to be, to be able to go into the hit grab for our for Fugla. That's actually a good idea. Not bad, y'all. Well done. Alrighty. Coming down to the wire. Mo, get in here. Sorry. Mal. Heck my life, dude. I'm going to die. What? Going to die. Who's <laughs> Keep saying his name wrong. 
I'm but I'm uh I am a poor boy from a poor family. Alrighty, what shall I use on this day? Valentine. Here, I'll do this. Uh, I'm gonna do the mayor. See how you handle. Yeah, Cerebella is pretty okay. That's not it. Uh, this one. What do we got? And bomber. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Forgot to sign up this front, but hello, hello, thank you. No worries. All good. All good. This is kind of how you play this matchup. Does a check to make them respect me? No conversion. Guess it was conversion. Fortunate. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Guess so. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. so we're mashing out. You know, pretty hard. dead character not bad um you got the right idea with the valentine um i would almost call excella more in the mirror like that uh because then you would actually catch me jumping because uh, since you know uh, m bomber is just limited to the horizontal usage it's good for pressure uh it's good for combo filler but not much for the anti-air nonsense uh, what's her other colors? Is this one that's that? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, one of these is the one that I actually like. Um, this one. And then double has the thing that is actually also the one that I like. That's the one. This team. Colors. Let's grab conversion. Good version. Not exactly. Little two and two for the grab. Let's see. <laughs> no conversion for you. Spooky. 
You're jumping. Yeah, you were jumping. Nope. Yeah. Caught me low, that's understandable. I was blocking high. Yeah. You need to dash up for that because the stubby normals the devil has. Not bad, not bad. Basically play Valve with the same recent... Yeah, I mean, they're, a lot of the Air Dash characters are kind of similar in their play. That's just kind of how the nature of it is. I really should look at the buttons for that. What is it? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. That's what that is. Ooh. And this one's this one. Stop thinking of all of the code. Okay, look. Oh. Oh. But then just calling out your jump. Dead character. Boosh. I'm gonna go for the mirror. Oh, I should try to go for the mirror. I forgot doubles coming out on the screen. A little pretty ball. Oh. Blocking not the right way. Yes. I mean, you're going from grabbing to grab is not great. <laughs> to ration out. Okay. You're pressing buttons. buttons One thing that you have to be careful for is if the opponent will do it again because they absolutely will sometimes. They, they'll just do it again, so you have to be aware. <laughs> That's how Skogirl's plays, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have to be aware that the the uh, definitely restance. Yeah, so you have to be aware that the opponent might just do it again because they can. Uh, but yeah, what about three in a row? So yeah, definitely, what about three in a row? What about four in a row? What about five in a row? They may just use all their bar to make it happen <laughs> like there's no reason not to from that distance for me so like you'll just just spend the bar why not uh some things really are just why not situations so like yeah you just kind of do it. sometimes you just kind of do it sometimes you shouldn't do it but you do and then you get punished for it but then you have to live with that decision but yeah certainly certainly alrighty thank you everybody for coming it's been awesome appreciate all of you stopping by we've reached the end of this event here it was awesome to see all y'all playing pretty dang good play VODs if you are not, if you don't know VODs are immediately available 
as soon as the stream is over. And if you would like to see more Skullgirls, please attend our weekly uh, Wednesday tournament. Skullgirls be great every Wednesday at 8 p.m. EST, 7 p.m. CT. I think that's what that is. I don't know, some time in time zones. But, you know, that's how that goes. Appreciate all, your, all of y'all for stopping by. And uh, thank you, Swagger, for, for help with the assist in the chats there. And I uh, hope your ravioli was very delicious. Also, thanks to my wonderful wife, Sparrow, because she's so supportive and, and you know, sometimes it's good to have a good support system. Love you too. Thank you, everybody. See you later. Goodbye.